Hi and welcome to BMC Discovery 12.1. In this video, we are going to take a look on how you can perform the password reset for BMC Discovery user. In this example, let's try to log in with the user neck, enter the password and click on the login button. The user sees the message login failed, please try again. Now let's switch to the Discovery Administrator account. Let's log in with system account. Let's go to the administration. In security section, click on users. Now let's look at the user neck. Here you can see that the account state is right now blocked. The reason is there were too many authentication failures. Six attempts were recorded. Now, first of all, let's unblock this account. In order to do that, click on actions and click on unblock. This will unblock the user neck, but the password is still unknown. So let's click on actions and set password. We will create new password for neck. Click on apply. Now you can share this password with user neck and click on actions and select the option must change password. This option will let the user Nick log in with the new password, but then he will get the chance to set his own password and use it for the future reference. Here you can see that the state of the password is now set for must be changed at next login. Now let's try to access the appliance with user Nick again. Now you can see that the access is successful and user Nick sees the window for changing his password. Let's change the password for user Nick. Click on apply. And the access is working fine now. If we now switch back to the system user and click on refresh, we can see that the user Nick has now changed his password and his account is now fine. Now, let's say that you are Alan, the administrator of this appliance and your password is lost. This user interface is not accessible anymore. Now, let's take a look on how you can change your password from the command line. Now, for some reason, Alan is not able to log in into Discovery Appliance and the password has to be reset from the command line. In order to do that, let's log into this server with Putty. We will log in with the user Tideway. Let's increase the font a little bit. Okay, now let's take a look of what is the state of the user Alan's account. To check the status of the user account, we will use the utility tw underscore list users. Here you can see for the user Alan, the account state is blocked because there were too many authentication failures. Now let's unblock the user Alan first. In order to unblock the account, we will use the utility tw underscore update user with the option hyphen hyphen active and then the username Alan. Now you can see that the user state is now changed to active. Now we will change the password for user Alan with tw underscore pawswd utility for user Alan. It will directly ask you to enter the new password for Alan. Now you can see that the password for new user Alan is selected. Once the new password is set, it is recommended to update the user Alan again with the password OK option. All right, now let's log in to the discovery appliance with Alan and the new password. As you can see that the access is successful, you will also see this message that there were three login failures recorded for Alan. Here in this example, we saw that after three unsuccessful attempts to log in, the user account for Alan was blocked. If you want to see how these settings were configured, go to administration. Click on security policy. Here you can see the security policy rule configured for discovery appliance. You can change these settings as per your requirement. For example, the account blocking can be changed from three attempts to two attempts. Thank you for watching.